Yeah, so a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Tame Impala isn't really a band. It's actually just one person named Kevin. Um, I'm really into Frank Ocean, The Beatles, a lot of indie stuff, but you've probably never heard of them. Hi, I'm uh, Mac. I'm a second year film student here at Queen's University, soon to be a student at NYU Film School. Oh, and uh, here's my Once Upon a Time in Hollywood poster. Great film. Definitely my biggest film inspirations have to be like Quentin Tarantino, Martin Scorsese, Taika Waititi. More into like the underground stuff, not so much into like the Marvel mainstream stuff. You know Taika Waititi directed Thor Ragnarok, right? Really? Well, okay, I guess I'm into some Marvel stuff then, but like only when they get like an A24 director to direct them. Today's a big day for me. I'm starting a production on my very own film. I think I'm going to do something very Tarantino-esque, you know, very dialogue and character driven, maybe with a postmodernist touch. So I'm about to hop on a Zoom call with my group mates to go over the planning quickly. Uh, hey guys. Hey, how are you guys doing? All right. So I was thinking that we could do a very dialogue driven film about a hitman who finds out that his target is his child's friend, but that friend is actually a hallucination because he's suffering from himself from his time served in the war af in Afghanistan. I think a nonlinear storyline could really work and we flashbacks from his time in the war. I think we could put a postmodern twist on it too. Wait, what does that mean, like postmodern? Well, you know, like against the mainstream. Like the whole like imagining us friend thing. Isn't that just like Fight Club? No, it's different. It's a deconstruction of the effects of post-war trauma. I think one of the biggest struggles all of these great directors have is that a lot of people just don't understand their vision. So, I met Mac at a party last year, and he was like really, really drunk. He told me to watch Pulp Fiction, and he kept asking the BJ to play Bohemian Rhapsody, even though... We played it like three times already. And then I found him like passed out on the front lawn, had to get him Uber home. And uh, well, now I'm making a movie with him. So that's fun, I guess. I, I'm not going to be in Kingston for the rest of the semester because my dad has a lot of issues and I'm worried about COVID. So you won't be able to be in person at all? Yeah, but I'll do all the editing after. That's just unacceptable. Do you even give a fuck about this project? Um, well, so I was thinking maybe we could instead do a documentary on like online school and do the entire thing over Zoom virtually so like everyone can be accommodated. You know, with the pandemic this year, I think everyone can really relate to, right? Oh, I like that. Um, don't you think that's a little simple? Well, Anna can't in person and it's only supposed to be a five minute short film well okay anna what do you think we should do um i'm fine with either i guess okay so looks like we'll go with my nick me and you will start filming next monday and anna if you can do all the editing we're gonna need multiple tripods, at least three cameras. I want multiple angles. Overall, I think the meeting went really well. It's good to see they really admire me, even if they don't quite understand everything. <sighs> well, this is gonna be a long week. Hey, what's up? You're late. Sorry, I just... Yeah, so I've never done a lot of acting before in my life, so I really don't know what Mac was expecting for me to do in this role. The filming process was a little more challenging than I expected. Nick really struggled to understand what I was trying to create. So, uh, today's the big day. Anna has finally finished editing the film and now I'm going to see what my masterpiece looks like. I thought that was uh, pretty good. Pretty good? 
pretty good. She completely butchered my film. My dog could have done a better job. It's not that bad. I mean. Now I'm going to have to completely re-edit the whole thing. I knew this was going to happen leaving her in charge. I am boy. Would you ever work on a film with Mac again? Is he gonna watch this? Every day for the past week, he probably texted me 30 times a day with specific instructions on what he wanted. Halfway through, I just started to ignore them. You know, I've got to take some of the responsibility for this myself. I should have chosen more like-minded groupmates who truly appreciate the art.